Now, I said that one of the challenging messages to hear in an empathic way is when somebody is telling us what's wrong with us. Another message that I have found very important to hear empathically is the message, no, or I don't want to, or I'm not willing. In our nonviolent communication training, we show people how to hear the human behind the no, to be conscious that if we hear a no, we're hearing very little about what's really alive in this person at this moment. And we need to do the same thing with the no as we do if somebody is telling us what's wrong with us. To hear through the message to what is alive in the person when they say this. More specifically, what are they feeling and needing? We show people that a no is a poor expression of what a person is needing. For example, many of the parents uh, that I work with, this is one of the messages that they find hardest to deal with in their children. They say, Marshall, what do you do when I tell my son it's time for him to go to bed? And he says, no, I don't want to go. I suggest to them to hear what is the person feeling and needing when they say that. We'll learn a lot about what's going on by doing that. And again, we'll show the person that we are more interested in the connection with them than in their immediately responding to our requests. And that, as I say, is a very powerful message when people trust that the connection is valued over their submission to whatever we are requesting. A mother tried this out with her son after... She asked me in a workshop, Marshall, how do you deal with a child who says no when I tell him it's time to go to school? He says, I don't want to go to school. No, I don't want to go to school. She says, he says that over and over. No, I don't want to go to school. How do you deal with that? And I worked with her on how to try to hear the feelings and the needs behind the no. The next morning, she came into the workshop beaming and thanked me for this. She said, Marshall, it was so precious to see what was really alive in him behind the no. Until you showed me how to hear his feelings and needs behind the no, I would immediately start to give him reasons why he had to go to school. And the more I do that, the more resistant he became. As a result of our session yesterday, I tried to hear what he was feeling and needing. And I said to him, Are you angry at my asking you to get ready for school because you have a need to have more time to play here now? And she said, I thought that was really it, Marshall. But then he said, No. It's all about the future, Mom. And then I, and it really strained to hear what was he feeling and needing when he said it's all about the future. But I started to get it. I said, you mean you're disappointed because you're not learning things that are really meeting your needs now? Yeah, Mom. You know, they just say you have to learn this so that you'll get a good grade and then you'll be able to go into other classes and then eventually you'll get a better job. And she said, I could really see why it was so hard for him to want to go to school every day when it really wasn't meeting his need for something that was valuable to him now, how when it was all about the future, how little energy he could have for wanting to go to school. And then the telephone rang, and I, I went to answer it. And when I came back, he was ready for school. And when she told me this about this young man who, after the empathy, all of a sudden was ready to go to school, I could think of several examples of that, where people brought their children to me because they weren't wanting to go to school. And when I empathized with what needs of theirs weren't being met by the school, the parents would then say to me later, what did you do to convince him that he needs to go to school? 
And I said, I didn't try to do any convincing. I just tried to empathically connect with what needs were keeping them from wanting to go to school, from enjoying the school. And just the empathy helped them. Even though they might not want to go, they did understand some of the reasons why they would benefit by going. And by getting the empathy, they could go to school, but with a different energy than when they didn't have the empathy.